Does your furry friend itch, scratch, lick, or chew themselves excessively? If they do, these could all be signs that your dog suffers from allergies. Allergies are fairly common in dogs and affect their skin and ears the most. Humans often outgrow their allergies, but when it comes to dogs, the allergies tend to get worse as they age. So what exactly are allergies? An allergy is a state of hypersensitivity or overreactivity of the immune system to a specific substance known as an allergen. Allergies are a reaction to foreign substances in the immune system, which pets and people both can suffer from. Most allergens come from foods, animals, insects, or plants. How common are allergies in dogs? Unfortunately, allergies are common in dogs of all sizes, breeds, and backgrounds. Most allergies develop after six months, with dogs being mostly affected over the age of one or two. This means you might not know that your dog has an allergy until they are a little older. Can dogs inherit allergies? The short answer is yes. Your dog can inherit an allergy from their parents. The most commonly inherited allergy is allergies to pollen in plants or atopy, which is an issue with the immune system that makes the dogs more likely to develop allergic disease. In some cases, food allergies can be passed down from parent to pup. If the parent dog had an allergy to a specific food and their pup eats that food, they could also have an allergic reaction. Types of allergies in dogs. Dogs can suffer from quite a few different allergies like food allergies, skin allergies, contact allergies, and environmental allergies. These all pose a challenge for the pup and their owner. And to make things even trickier, the symptoms of these various allergies often overlap with each other and other conditions. Here is everything you need to know about dog allergies and how to relieve them if your precious pooch suffers from any of them. Skin allergies. Skin allergies are the most common kind of allergic reaction. Skin allergies, also known as dermatitis, can be caused by fleas, food, or environmental allergens. Let's have a look at these in more detail. Flea allergy dermatitis is caused by flea bites. Some pups are allergic to flea saliva, which makes them very itchy. The itching often occurs at the base of their tail and causes the skin to become inflamed, red, and scabby. Allergies to certain food could also result in itchy skin. Food allergies affect the pup's ears and paws and are often followed by gastrointestinal issues. Environmental allergens like mold, dust, and pollen may cause atopic dermatitis. Environmental allergies are seasonal, so your dog will only be affected at certain times of the year. Just like with food allergies, the ears and paws are most commonly affected. However, environmental allergies could also affect the muzzle, ankles, groin, underarms, and eyes. All skin allergies could potentially cause a secondary infection. As the dog scratches, licks, or bites their skin, it could cause a lesion exposed to bacterial and yeast infections. This will require additional treatment. Food allergies. True food allergies are not as common as people think. However, if your dog suffers from a food allergy, it can result in an immune response that ranges in symptoms from hives, itchiness, facial swelling, diarrhea, vomiting, or a combination of all of them. In rare cases, a severe food allergy could cause anaphylaxis. You may be wondering about the dogs that eat hypoallergenic food. Typically, when people say that their dog has an allergy, they are talking about a food sensitivity or food intolerance. Food sensitivities and food allergies are not the same. Food intolerance does not involve an immune response and is a gradual reaction to an ingredient in their food like beef, chicken, eggs, wheat, milk, or corn. If your dog has a food intolerance, they may experience symptoms like itchiness, ear and foot infections, or a dull coat and flaky skin. If you suspect a food allergy, you should check with your vet to assess the symptoms and find the ingredients causing the reaction. Contact allergies. Contact allergies are the least common type of allergy in dogs and typically result from direct contact with an allergen. For example, your dog might have a reaction to pesticides used on the lawn, pyrethrins found in flea collars, grasses, or materials like wool or synthetics used in bedding and carpets. Contact allergies can develop at any age to practically anything. Symptoms of contact allergies will be itching and irritated skin at the point of contact. Acute Allergic Reactions An acute allergic reaction is one of the most serious and alarming types of allergies your dog may experience. If the allergic reaction is serious, your dog could experience anaphylactic shock, which could be fatal if not treated immediately. 
Vaccines and insect stings are some of the things that could cause an acute allergic reaction. It is always a good idea to keep an eye on your dog after giving them a new food item, medication, or vaccine. Fortunately, anaphylactic reactions are very rare in dogs. Allergy Symptoms in Dogs Allergy symptoms vary depending on what is causing them. For example, if your dog goes into anaphylaxis, they will have lowered blood pressure followed by shock, which is very different from itching skin. These are some common symptoms of an allergic reaction. Hives, itchiness, swelling of the face, ears, lips, eyelids, or ear flaps, red, inflamed skin, vomiting, diarrhea, sneezing, itchy ears, itchy, runny eyes, chronic ear infections, constant licking. These symptoms could also be a sign of another condition, so it is always a good idea to consult with your vet to get a proper diagnosis to help your pooch feel better. Diagnosing Dog Allergies The allergy testing process is often quite complicated. The first step your vet will take is to rule out any other conditions that could be causing the symptoms. If the vet feels like an allergy is the cause, they will do tests to try and figure out the trigger. However, sometimes it is not always possible to determine the cause through testing, and an elimination diet may be necessary. This hypoallergenic food trial involves feeding your pup one source of protein and one carbohydrate for 12 weeks. The easiest allergy to determine is flea allergy dermatitis, which is diagnosed by identifying fleas on your dog's body. A product is administered to kill the fleas before they bite your furry friend to see if this stops the allergy. Treating Dog Allergies The most effective way to treat your dog's allergy is to avoid the cause or allergen. For example, if your dog is allergic to flea saliva, the best way to avoid this trigger is by applying a product that kills the fleas. In addition to the necessary lifestyle changes, your vet may also prescribe allergy medication to provide relief for your dog. This is especially helpful in cases where the allergy cannot be avoided, like with the change of seasons. The prescribed allergy or anti-inflammatory medicine will also help with the irritating symptoms of an allergy or secondary infections. Shampoo therapy is another way to soothe itchy and inflamed skin. Bathing also rinses out allergens that could be in or on the coat that can be absorbed through the skin. Certain therapeutic shampoos also contain anti-inflammatory ingredients that may further benefit your pup. Hyposensitization or desensitization therapy is a form of treatment that involves identifying the allergy and then giving the dog an allergy shot or allergy injection serum. This treatment involves giving your pup very small amounts of the antigen until their immune system is desensitized to the allergy. Immunotherapy is similar to desensitization therapy. Immunotherapy aims to make the immune system less reactive to the allergens by giving your dog an allergy vaccine under their skin. Immunotherapy is the best long-term approach to treating allergies, especially in younger dogs that experience symptoms most of the year. If your furry friend suffers from a serious allergic reaction, it is best to get them to the emergency veterinary hospital as fast as possible.